Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Money Coaching Sports Show. My name is Leonardo. I'm the assistant manager here at Make Money Coaching Sports. So today is the third part of a four-part series of where I talk about how to build or how to start your football academy from scratch here in the UK. So my first piece of advice is if you're watching this video and you might be a bit confused about what exactly I'm talking about, go back and watch the first two videos where I talk about how to identify your your niche and also how to build your perfect client profile. Those two areas will be really important and you once you've watched them and gone through that, this video, this third video will make a lot more sense. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about probably the most important part of this uh, four-part series, and that is recruiting new players into your football academy. So every day, coaches reach out to us, they reach out to our company and they ask, uh, how can I get more clients or how can I get more players into my, my training program? Now, this is something that, if, if we're going to be completely uh, transparent, if you don't have clients, then you don't have a business. So recruitment is the most important part of any business, whether you're in sports or whether you're, you're in any other type of industry. If you're not constantly recruiting, if you're not constantly bringing in new, new customers, new clients, then your business won't become uh, sustainable. So for a football academy and for, for a football uh, academy owner, this is the most important part of, of the, the business, is the recruitment of uh, clients and of new players. Now, what a lot of business owners tend to do is they understand, okay, yes, I need to bring in uh, clients on a regular basis. But what they tend to do is they, they tend to bring anyone in. And in the short term, that's fantastic because it's it's going to bring in more income. It's going to generate more revenue. But if you're just bringing anyone into your, your ecosystem and into your business, in the long term, what, what will happen is your business will start to become affected. Okay, because if you bring 10, 10 new clients and they end up becoming really hard to manage, they don't show up to sessions or they, they mess around during your sessions, uh, the parents are very difficult to, to work with. Oswin, what's going to happen is those 10 new, new clients, they might be with you for 30 days, 60 days, or if you're lucky, 90 days. And then you're back to square one where you have to find 10 new clients again. So even though the recruitment stage or the recruitment part of this is going to be, I want it to be a slow process where we're filtering maybe one or two uh, per month or maybe one per week. We want to make sure that it's, they are your perfect clients, right? They're players and their families that, are good for your business and you know that when you bring them in they got they will be there and they will be with you for 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 90 days or over three months right they're going to be with you for the long the long term okay so how do we recruit new players okay now the most important thing is, and when I started my business, okay, and when I started my football academy, there's two main things that I looked at, right? Number one is building partnerships, okay? So how do we build partnerships in our local area where we can partner with either a club or an organization or even other coaches who have access to players, now, what we don't want to do is we don't want to go into a club or an organization or to another coach and say, uh, like, the intent is not to steal their clients or to steal their players. OK, 
Okay. Ultimately, what we want to do is we want to go into these, these organizations, these clubs, or work with other coaches, and we want to add value. Okay. So something we want to do is we want to research what are these clubs or organizations not doing? What do they not offer? What do they not have? Okay, so this might be strength and conditioning training. This might be mental training. This might be uh, confidence workshops for their players. All right, so what are these organizations not doing that you can come in, do for them, add value, and ultimately build a long-term partnership with where they can refer clients or they can refer parents to you, and then you ultimately make money, generate revenue, and start to build and scale your business. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then the second one is referrals. Okay, so once we've built those partnerships, once we've uh, built that, or well, we're slowly building our, our client or our customer uh, base, how can then we build a system inside that where we're getting referrals every month or every quarter and other parents are talking about us and referring other parents like-minded parents into our academy okay so these are these are things that we're going to talk about in upcoming videos but in this video i want you now to remember so the, the third bit is when you're starting your football academy from scratch is the most important bit is now how do we recruit new players every single month into our program okay and the two main things I look at is how can we build partnerships with local businesses local organizations local clubs who have access to to parents and to, to players and how can we go into these organizations and add value to their already existing program where they appreciate what you're doing, appreciate what you're offering and what you're giving to them. And in exchange, they're sending either parents or players to work with you. And you can either come up with some sort of uh, agreement where you get a commission of every client that they send send your way okay so that's the first bit and then the second thing is once you start to once you start to build your customer base your clientele how can we then create a referral system inside our business so inside our academy where we're constantly bringing in new like-minded parents who can then constantly refer other like-minded parents into our academy so that you start to build a really strong and solid uh, customer base where you're working with your perfect clients and clients that are going to be with you in the long term. Okay, not customers that are going to be with you maybe a week, two weeks, a month, two months, but ultimately customers that are going to be with you for over six months or even a year okay now in my academy the average and i say this really really um proudly but the average customer retention in my academy has been two and a half years okay i've, I've got some clients who i'm still working with who have been with me for now going four years right that is not normal okay and i'm going to be upfront and say that is not normal in in today's market today's average uh, customer um life cycle is you know especially in this type of industry your customers are going to probably be with you for maybe maybe 60 days 60 days if you're not providing value if you're not transforming and if you're not getting great results and ultimately after 60 days or maybe 90 days they're going to start looking for somewhere else okay so that is why it's really important that when we do bring in uh, good parents good players into our into our academy that they are the right type of clients okay they're the type the type of clients that you know that if you get them great results they're going to be with you for the long term and if they're with you for the long term, they're going to re recommend or refer other like-minded parents 
into your academy as well. Okay, so stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to touch on the fourth most important area when you're starting your football academy from scratch here in the UK. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.